Hi, I'm Mike Elliott and you're watching CEO Roadshow. Today we're joined by Dr. Philip Talikas. He's president and CEO of Cernova, a clinical stage regenerative medicine company. Their stock trades on the TSXV under SVA on, uh, and on the OTC QB under SEOVF and also the FTSE under PSH. So those tickers are printed across the bottom of your screen. So refer to those if you want to look them up. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Kalikas, and welcome to the show. Good afternoon and very pleased to be here. So to start off, what is Cernova's technology and how can it become a functional cure for people with chronic diseases? So Cernova is a regenerative medicine company and uh, we're treating several diseases, including uh, type 1 diabetes, hemophilia A, and thyroid disease. And these are all multi-billion dollar applications. Our technology consists of um, a medical device that gets placed deep under the skin. And the approach that we're taking is that we're replacing therapeutic cells that have been lost in the body. And so we place new therapeutic cells in this device. It forms an organ-like environment. And then those therapeutic cells will connect up to the blood supply. They survive, they produce uh, their, their uh, product into the bloodstream and they can provide a functional cure for patients. So if we talk about type one diabetes, for the last hundred years, patients have been taking insulin injections and that has resulted in uh, a really significant uh, reduction in the, in the quality of life for these patients. And they're still getting all of the side effects of the disease over time. So what we're looking at is essentially replacing the cells that have been lost, having those cells function normally, eliminating the need for insulin injections and virtually curing these patients. And this is what the regenerative medicine approach provides. Okay, great. And what differentiates uh, Cernova's regenerative medicine therapeutic approach? So Cernova has taken a stepwise, uh, very de-risk approach. If you think about this, it's a very disruptive technology. We're changing a hundred years of medicine. And what we've done is uh, taking the approach where we have worked, we're working with our device that forms this organ-like environment. And then we're putting human donor islets into the device. So those are the cells that actually work in your own body. So by putting cells that we know work in the body already into the device, we're able to test the function of the device and safety. And, um, and we also have one of the issues is that the number of donor organs is limited. So we also have a worldwide exclusive license to a stem cell drive technology. And we're working with a number of pharmaceutical companies who also have stem cell drive technologies for treatment of diabetes to be able to supply cells to millions and millions of patients. So we've taken this de-risked approach that is working and uh, from an efficacy and safety perspective, and then we're increasing our patient population through um, over, over a period of time as we're being successful. Uh, and Cernova issued uh, exciting news over the last two weeks, uh, a clinical update for the current phase one, two at the University of Chicago. And yesterday, the announcement of a presentation by your clinical trial investigator at the American Society of Transplant Surgeons. Can you tell us uh, a bit more about that? Yeah, so what's really important here is that our study that we're conducting is a safety and efficacy study at the University of Chicago, and we've been releasing uh, some of the data as it's coming out. And importantly, I believe we're the only company in the world right now that has a regenerative medicine approach to treatment of diabetes and has important clinical data showing safety and efficacy in our product. And of course, more data will be coming out as the study is, is moves along. But importantly, we're showing that our device um, is housing, that's housing the cells is surviving and the cells are surviving in the device. There's no uh, safety issues with the device deep under the skin. The next thing is that we're showing that the cells in the device are able to produce insulin. That insulin is getting into the bloodstream. And this is measured by a biomarker called C-peptide. And these are in patients that have no ability to produce insulin on their own. So we definitively know now that insulin is being produced by the device, getting through the blood vessels into the bloodstream and reacting to a sugar load. Next, we're also showing that we're finding a reduction in the need for insulin injections in our patient. So we're actually having a real important uh, improvement in the patient's quality of life. And then we're also showing long-term improvements in their blood sugar control as shown by something called HbA1c improvement in these patients, which is also important in reduction of diabetes side effects. Um, the other thing that's important is in our, in our patient population, 
these patients have something called severe hypoglycemic unaware events, whereby they can take an insulin injection and they can actually go into a coma if their sugar drop levels drop too low because they don't get that shakes and tremors that most of us get from uh, having low blood sugar levels. And so we're even showing an improvement in the hypoglycemic uh, effects on these patients, which means again, we're improving quality of life and we're uh, improving uh, survival essentially of, of patients. So our product is showing a really, really important um, efficacy and safety measures so far in a patient population that has a huge need for this type of uh, product. So again, we're moving to a regenerative medicine uh, functional cure for these patients. Great, great. Well, so which clinical indication do you think has the biggest market potential and why? So uh, again, uh, type 1 diabetes, if you think about it, uh, we're looking at patients that are uh, the type 1 diabetic patients as we're broadening our, our clinical horizons. But we're also looking about 20% of type 2 diabetic patients end up taking insulin injections. And so when you add the two of those populations together in our patented areas, which is around the world, that brings us to a patient population of around 50 million patients. So this is a very, very significant uh, market. Our other markets uh, for, for our hemophilia A is about a $10 billion a year market. And we've developed the product all the way through preclinical studies. So that one's moving ahead. And we're the first company in the world to be able to develop a cell therapy treatment for a thyroid disease. And that is another uh, multi-billion dollar market with about 150,000 patients a year having your thyroid gland removed that can be replaced with the cell therapy approach that we're working on right now. Fantastic. Well, that's all the questions we had for today, Dr. Talikas. So, um, you know, I'd like to end this by asking you, you know, why do you think it's a good time to invest in Cernova? Well, I think a couple of things. One is our, our data is continuing to come out. Our investigator, as you had mentioned, is going to be presenting um, at, a, at a clinical conference in early January. Um, the one thing that we did mention slightly, uh, very briefly, is that we're also looking at uh, forming collaborations with major pharmaceutical companies around the world, and we're in discussions with uh, a number of these for different kinds of indications. Um, that is moving ahead very, very quickly. And the idea of a collaboration is, importantly, that we will combine uh, the pharmaceutical companies' technologies, the cell technologies with our device and local immune protection technologies and do the testing. And once that testing is proven, then we can move on to licensing discussions, it could be, which could be very, very important for the company from a valuation perspective. So we're really deep into these uh, uh, discussions and collaborations and this kind of thing. And this is something that could very significantly advance uh, the company. Secondly, uh, we're also, um, a Canadian company that's moving, um, you know, towards NASDAQ. And as we move towards NASDAQ, we're getting more and more recognized by uh, U.S. investors. And I believe that with our uh, first world uh, efficacy in our clinical study, uh, we're going to be known, we're going to get known very, very quickly. And I think our valuation is uh, going to increase very significantly as we're moving forward. So we're really, really thrilled about the end of 2020 and what's to come for 2021. Great. Well, I couldn't agree more. I mean, it's it, you know the kind of story that investors are looking for, especially in pharmaceutical or biotech, is something that you know its valuation isn't really realized by the market yet. So there's a lot of uh, upcoming catalysts. You're obviously in a in a very hot and huge lucrative market with a, with diabetes. You've got a, a unique approach that differentiates you from from a lot of other companies. So I think um, and from that sense, you, you couldn't be right more correct um, in terms of 2021 being an exciting year. Uh, so investors need to keep an eye on this company. And I, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, be on the show with us again, Dr. Talikas. We're gonna start coverage here on CEO Roadshow. So we'll be keeping our investor audience informed on, on all the latest updates with the company. And uh, we'd really love to have you on again soon for another update, maybe first quarter of next year. Excellent, thank you. Great, Great. thank, thank you. you. Uh, again, we've been talking to Dr. Philip Talikas. He is president and CEO of Cernova. It's a clinical stage regenerative medicine company with an ongoing clinical trial at the University of Chicago for its diabetes indication. Their stock trades on the TSX Venture under SVA and here in the U.S. on the OTCQB under SEOVF, as you can see at the bottom of your screen there. Uh, to learn more about them, please go to their website. It's www.cernova.com. And thanks again for watching CEO Roadshow.